Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. I am once again looking at one of your designs that you have linked to me in the comments section of one of my videos. And for today I have randomly chosen the NSI Dragon Mark II, which is this lovely ship right here. It features both ion and hydrogen thrusters, it's got guns on it, and everything else you need to survive while you're in space. So let's start by taking a look around the outside, shall we? At the very front, we have got some ion thrusters and some hydrogen thrusters to give us a nice amount of a stopping speed. We've got some nice patterns there using the vanilla Space Engineer skins of the red and the grey. As we move around the side, we see our first Gatling gun to keep us safe from those pesky pirates, as well as some more hydrogen and ion thrusters. We can then come across to here where we have loads and loads of cargo containers on the side as well as a connector to connect you up to any kind of resupplying ship or maybe even a smaller ship if you want to resupply them yourself. Showing it from the exact front doesn't represent it enough. On the side you can see all the work that has been put into it. So we've got some interior doors going along the side there. We've got these lovely little pipes which are from mods which is a perfect time to say that this does contain both mods and some of the items from the DLC packs. We've got our hydrogen tanks sitting on the side there. Quite a dangerous thing to do, especially if you have the tank explosion mod on there, but perhaps you want that extra bit of danger because you like living on the edge. We can then see some more pipes going around the top there and the antenna across the top. Moving around to the rear of the ship, we've got the Gatling turret on there. We can see a landing gear as well as the DLC bed just sticking out the side with a few more ion and hydrogen thrusters. At the very back, we can see some modules sticking out the side there. A ton of hydrogen and ion thrusters as well as some nice little bit of catwalk to hide whatever is underneath it. As we come down below, we once again see more thrusters, and here is the landing gear. Not too much to talk about on the underneath, we just see below the hydrogen tank, and below where the entrance and the catwalks are. Let's now go along the top. So all the way along the top, where I'm standing, we can see some more thrusters sticking out, and some nice block work there to give it that little bit of extra detail. Laser antenna at the very back there as well as a small ramp to hold the antenna. But now it's time to take control of my character and find the entrance. Yes, the entrance on this ship isn't that traditional actually, it's not just sitting on the side, it's hidden away down here. So all the way past through everything, where you wouldn't normally look for it, is the modded airlock rotary door, which I have featured on this channel before. So just clicking it, we'll just rotate it around and it will allow us to go in a 90 degree into the ship. Coming along these upside down passageways, we've got some windows above us so we can look up at the stars above. And we can also easily reach the thrusters if they need repairing. But let's continue along there, we can then see the cargo containers there, but unfortunately we cannot access it because of the window. But we can continue it along into the main body of the ship, which features the DLC toilet some ladders, a O2 H2 generator which comes pre-installed with a hydrogen bottle and 10k ice. We got ourselves a air vent, the survival kit to respawn on, a bed and some lockers for you to store some stuff in there. Here, have my gun. Turning around and let's climb up the ladder properly this time. We can then just keep going up. Then we come to this floor which contains another locker, a planter and turning it around to here. We then got another little armory there for emergencies. So down below would be like your private locker and this would be where all your gear is kept. Now a running jump, or well I failed that one, but jumping over to here we have got the nuclear reactor which contains 281 uranium ingots. Turning around we can actually see through the door, now I've never noticed this before. But yeah you can see the little display screens through the back of the cockpit. Entering into the cockpit and coming into first person view, we are in the DLC little rover cockpit thing where we've got our clock, we've got our hydrogen and power, we've got our speed and we got the gravity all the way around us. Looking around, we got a pretty decent view. Not the best, but it's still serviceable. On the HUD, we've got a few little options to do. So pressing number one, we get an energy shield. Oh yes, and we get this little icon on the bottom left of our HUD. 
So this is what's going to protect us from the uh, pirates. So having all those hydrogen tanks and everything else bare isn't going to matter too much because we got this shield to protect us as we go along. Two and three are for the connectors on either side. We got number four to turn the turrets on and off, five for the landing gear, six for the connector at the back of the ship, number seven for the antenna, number eight for the ion thrusters, and number nine for the hydrogen thrusters. Coming to tab number two, we got the battery, which we can then turn to recharging mode or turn to automatic mode, which then fiddles with the shield generator. Number two is our emergency power for the hydrogen. And number three is the parachutes if we want to land on the planet in an emergency. So let's now turn off the shields and then go for a little fly, shall we? Put the hydrogen back on. Let's move forward. A bloody fast ship, this is. Very fast. Stops really fast as well. Look at that go. Moving to the left. Moving to the right. Going down. Going up. Wow, it was really fast on going up. All ships lately seem to be doing that. But it's a very solid ship. Moving my mouse around. It's got some weight to it, but it's still pretty sensitive, which is great in my books. So it's overall a fantastic ship to be using. So it's a nice explorer to play around with in your world if you are interested in using mods and wanting to avoid a traditional ship type look. You can just have this one, which is quite open and... Nice, it's got everything you need to survive in the world. So if I come over here, we've got our assemblers and we've got these survival kits so we can just build some basic blocks and basically do whatever. You can survive for a very long time in this ship. But as for that, that is basically it for this ship. If I just come and press F10 and find the dragon, there it is, it weighs in at 607 large blocks. So once again, it's a pretty small ship but it makes up for it by the way it's been spaced out. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and try this ship out. It does contain mods, it does contain some of the DLC blocks, but as for that, I think it's worth a go. So thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.